Hello everyone and welcome to my latest tutorial and it's uh, loosely based or it's actually based on uh, a series of wallpapers that the uh, UEFA Champions League uh, tweeted out. Uh, okay, they've, uh, they've put a tweet out here. Uh, they did one a few weeks ago as well when the round of 16 started in the Champions League uh, and someone's designed some wallpapers and uh, it's inspired me. Yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, try and recreate that, that, uh, that design uh, in a tutorial today. So we've got Messi here, uh, Anton Griezmann, Griezmann and uh, Gareth Bale. But today the one I'm focusing on is going to be uh, is going to be Griezmann. Uh, so you can see the one that uh, I've made here and uh, without further ado we're going to get straight into it. So obviously uh, it's going to be uh, a lock screen for my phone. Uh, so I'm using an iPhone 7 or 8 or whatever. Okay so uh, have a look at your dimensions for your lock screen but uh, for mine Okay, width of uh, 1280 pixels by 2272 height, and it's a portrait orientation, and I'm going to click create. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fill my background, so I'm going to go to my uh, colour palette down here on the left. Okay, and the colour I'm going to type in is Alpha 5, 0, Foxtrot 1, 0, and it's this, uh, this nice deep red. Okay, once I've got it in my palette there, I'm going to hold down Alt on my keyboard, uh, I'm using a Mac. And I'm going to press the backspace, it's going to fill it. Uh, so I've got my background there. Okay, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to get uh, my image of uh, Anton Griezmann. Apologies if I uh, pronounce his name wrong. Okay, and I'm just going to drop it in and I'm going to hold down Shift, Shift and Alt, and it'll grow in proportion. And I'm going to place him round about here. So what I'm, what I'm doing is I've got another little screen. Uh, the minute showing me uh, the image because I want to try and get it as uh, accurate as this one as I can so uh, I'll keep flick, flicking and uh, flacking between them so I'm going to bring him in and I'm going to drop him down somewhere around there let's have a look yep uh, that'll do for now Okay, uh, and what I'm going to do is while I'm here, I'm going to press Command J. I'm going to make two copies. Alternatively, you can just uh, drag onto the new layer icon down there, and uh, it'll create another copy. So I'm going to hide this bottom copy for now. Uh, we'll come back to that shortly. But this uh, this top copy, what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click or right click. Okay, I'm going to convert it into a smart object. So that means we can uh, go back and edit it. Then I'm going to go to the top, I'm going to go to Filter, and I'm going to go to Camera, Raw, Filter. Now if you're using CS6, um, if you're not on the CS, CCs, uh, using CS6, I think you can download this as a, like a DLC. Uh, anyway, so just let that load up. Okay, so uh, I've got Camera, Raw, Filter. Now these settings I'm about to apply now uh, for this image of what I've played around with. Again, if you're using a different image, okay, uh, just play around with it, take your time. Uh, to try and get that effect that looks good. Uh, but for this one, uh, I was trying to get a similar style to this one here, and not sure if I achieved it, but I like the uh, I like the look of it. So the exposure, I'm going to pump up to uh, point point ten. There we go. Contrast is going to be plus twenty two. Twenty two. Okay, highlights, I'm going to drop right down to minus 100. Shadows, it's going to be minus 66. Okay, it'll look a bit strange at the minute, uh, but you'll see when they uh, desaturate it. Okay, the whites is going to be plus 40. The blacks is going to be minus 40. Okay, clarity is going to be plus 20. Vibrance is going to be plus 15. Yep. And saturation right down to minus 100. Okay, then I clicked on the uh, tone curve. Okay, and I just made uh, small adjustments, so I clicked there. I just brought it up slightly. I'm sure I slid it along there. So just made those small adjustments on the uh, on the tone curve there as well. And then I'm going to click OK. Uh, so now we've uh, we've desaturated him. 
Okay, next I'm going to go down here to my adjustment layers. Okay, and the next one I'm going to add is brightness and contrast. I'm going to make sure it's a clipping mask, uh, so it only affects the layer underneath. And the brightness, what did I have for brightness? I had plus 40. So, like I explained before, these are just purely uh, for this image, and the contrast is minus 50. Again, if you've got different images, different footballers, someone for your team, um, again, uh, just play around with it. It doesn't have to look exactly the same, it's just the look that I went for that I, uh, that I liked. Uh, and then I made an adjustment layer for levels. Okay, sure, it's uh, clipped again. And I just made the sliders 10, 10 each. There we go, give it a little bit of a fade. Yeah, brilliant. Uh, so there's uh, Anton Griezmann. So um, happy what I've achieved here. So now this this layer here, I'm going to uh, excuse me, select it again, and I'm going to add a layer above it. I'm going to clip it, okay, and I'm going to fill it with a color blue. So it's going to be go to your uh, palette. So click on. Uh, Click on the little palette, okay, it's going to be, let me look at my notes, 021164. Okay, it's a nice dark deep blue and it's a colour we're going to come back to again later. Okay, I'm going to hold Alt as well and just for now I'm just going to hide that one there. So you can see we've, uh, we've filled it with that layer. But what I'm going to do is, I'm going to get uh, Griezmann there, I'm going to use my arrow key so I'm going to make sure I've got the move tool selected. Okay, and I'm just going to nudge him out with the arrow keys. And I want it quiet out a little bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to press Command T and I'm just going to grow it slightly from this top left corner just so it pops out. And I'm just going to use the arrows again just to drop it down. Grow it proportion a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to hit enter and then make sure the move tool's selected. How did it look compared to there? Yeah. So again, just play around, just play around, just so enough sticks out. So it's like a, it's like a drop shadow, something that we've used in my other tutorials. If you're familiar with them. Uh, yeah, brilliant. So with this uh, Anton Griezmann level selected, okay, I'm going to add a layer mask. Okay, what this does is, uh, if you're unfamiliar, if you've got black and white selected, hit the brush tool. Okay, and you can uh, paint away sections. Uh, so it's looking pretty good, but what I'm going to do is I'm just, just down here. In fact, press Command Z, I'll go back. I'm just going to soft brush tool. I'm going to have some stars down there anyway, and then you can just paint it back on as well. Yeah. In fact, in fact, no, it's all right. It's okay. We'll uh, we'll cancel that then. But anyway, I digress. So what I'm going to do is now I've got a brush tool. I'll uh, drop it in the link below. Okay, it's a grunge brush. Um, that I've come across in the past. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tap on it. It's like I'm going to dab, dab away. Uh, imagine fresh paint. So we'll put the uh, flow onto about ten percent. We'll see how we get on. Make sure we've got black selected. If that's wrong, what's going on? In fact, which layer do I need here? In fact, it's that layer there. And there we go. So make sure you've got uh, Anton Griezmann uh, layer mask selected there. I don't need that layer mask. Okay, and you're just going to sporadically click. Okay, you can do it too much or too little. It's entirely up to you uh, how you like to do it. Let's jump off again. And all we're doing is just giving it a little bit of a an effect. 
so it's it's a bit crunchy against the background and it's looking good compared to that one yeah I'm I'm uh, I'm happy with that there uh, yeah so we've got uh, Anton Griezmann there uh, selected okay next we're going to do uh, we've got the uh, faded head uh, effect so we're going to go back I'm going to get this picture here I'm going to drop him in just takes a second for my computer to load oh god messed it up there there we go so just make sure you got the uh, blue level selected when you drop him in uh, so then it doesn't get affected there so the only part we're going to use is the head there so I'm just going to rename this head just going to distinguish it so I'm going to press command T and I want to get it a nice generous size and I'm also going to just tilt it a little bit just tilt on the way in fact not too drastic let's have a look yeah I think that's okay I'm just going to lift it up a bit there we go so we compare it to the last one yeah that's that's fine that's fine okay so uh, I'm going to lay a mask away any excess do, do, do. it's layer mask so I'm going to select uh, layer mask select my brush tool okay need to change my brush okay get a nice soft brush flow and opacity is 100 make sure I've got the black selected and I'm just going to paint away but as I get uh, close to round his head what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop the flow down and the size there we go And then, again, just how you want to play, put some white on. Uh, that's looking okay. Uh, now let me just see what faded head. Yep, soft light. So, make sure I've got that level selected there. And I change it to blend mode. to soft light, so it blends in, uh, blends in with this background here. It's uh, important you don't forget that. Okay, so it's uh, blended in. Okay, so what we're going to do now, uh, there with this head, then we're just going to add a curves adjustment layer. And just going to drop it down again. Make sure you've got the uh, clipping mask selected. It's looking quite good. No need for fade there. Yep. Brilliant. Okay, yeah, so we've uh, we've made good progress then. So we've uh, we've dropped uh, Anton Griezmann in there. Okay, we've desaturated him. Uh added a few effects with the brightness and contrast, etc. Put the uh the blue layer in for the background layer and we've put the faded head in. So now it's just a case of adding shapes. So before I do that, I'm just going to group the layers. So uh one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to group that so command G okay I'm going to call it faded head okay and I'm just going to drop it just above the background layer but below here and these remaining layers I'm going to command G to group I'm going to call it main image okay just uh, I just like like to be organized okay so um, what we're going to do is between the faded head and this layer we're going to add some shapes so I'm just going to put a new layer in between okay I'm going to go over here to uh, this line tool Pre press U okay and I'm going to select the polygon tool okay make sure I've got a uh, shape selected up here in the top left okay I've got a fill color of white no stroke okay uh, sides is going to be five I'm going to click this little uh, cog or this little star I'm just going to make sure I've got star selected here. It's got radius 10 centimeters. Uh, we'll see how big they are in a second. I think it needs to be bigger than that. We'll, we'll click it anyway. So we'll click on there. 
there we go 100 pixels by 100 pixels so we'll change that to we'll go with 1500 by 1500 like I said number of sides five make sure sides start is selected indent sides by 53% click OK and there we go we've got our star so I'm going to click V command tool command T sorry and I'm just going to rotate it round so just like the other image it's just sticking out above his head so something like that okay with the uh, star I'm just going to press command J so we've got a second one and I'm just going to move it okay it's entirely up to you uh, how accurate you want to be a flipping horizontal flipping vertical um, but for this here just for this tutorial I'm just going to put them in command J again I'm going to drop it down I'm going to make this star a little bit smaller spin it around a little bit so obviously UEFA Champions League with the stars as well that's why uh, these are in here oh, command J perhaps command J and command T just spin this one around so as, as per usual when I'm doing these tutorials I'm just uh, just rushing it a little bit so let's compare it to the last one uh, yeah happy happy with that okay what I'm going to do is uh, with these stars okay I'm just going to select them so I'm going to select the top one hold down shift select the bottom one I'm going to group them again call them stars okay so once I've got this uh, group selected here I'm going to add a layer mask and I'm going to press the B for the brush tool double click and then go back to this grunge tool press X make sure I've got black selected here go with 100% again okay and I'm just gonna go in there with my grunge tool and just be wild again entirely up to you uh, how you want to go about doing it uh, another little feature as well that you can do so if you uh, go to your brush presets if you can't see that click on window at the top and you'll uh, see them here brush and brush presets select them and you can just eject uh, swap the angle uh, of the brush and stuff so it's not like I've got these linear lines here so just click there and there's loads of uh, loads of features there we go so we've give it a grungy feel I think I might have gone a little bit OTT so just paint some back in uh, yeah I think it's looking good so close that over close it over yeah so command zero bring it back uh, let's just check it so yeah I've uh, not gone as too much detail over this way but yeah, we're still good. So we've got our stars, and now that's complete. So next, we're going to move on to the uh, shapes. Uh, so again, these uh, these shapes are going to sit on top. So now we're going to move on to these uh, these these blue shapes, and pretty simple to make. Now you can probably get a brush, and I was looking everywhere for these uh, abstract triangle brushes, and I couldn't find any. So in the end, I just quickly created my own. So without further ado, we'll get straight into that. So new layer. And make sure it's above the main image okay so where we have the polygon tool okay I'm gonna go down and click the line tool make sure we've got shape selected again okay fill uh, recently used color so we're go, going to go back to that blue make sure we've got no stroke again uh, if you were wondering what the color for the blue was it was let me check my notes 021164 021164 so yeah uh, pixels wise we're gonna go with we'll try eight eight to start with make sure we've got this solid line selected and then hit enter Just make sure stroke doesn't appear again 
and we're going to draw some lines in. Okay, I don't think A is going to be enough, so we'll press Command Z. Let's try 20, see what happens. Um, one second. In fact, wrong. I know where I'm going wrong because that's my stroke. Apologies, miles away. Okay, uh, <laughs> over on the way over here, absolute amateur mistake. On the way over here, what we'll do is we'll go with 20. That's better. There we go. And we'll just drop a line in, something like that. Happy days. Okay. And I'm just going to go back to this polygon tool and I'm just going to draw another shape in. Do it at a right angle, 45 degrees, sorry. There we go. And I'm just going to make sure it's brought in. There we go. And zoom in a little bit. Yeah, it's looking good. Okay, so uh, again, I'm just going to do that again. Just going to draw another shape tool. What we're going to do is we're going to just change the shapes. Okay, uh, depends how perfect you want them, but again, it's just been a little bit abstract. Okay, I'm not being uh, not being too neat. Um, hit enter. I'm going to press Command J. So I'm going to copy this level, level layer here. Okay, and I'm going to twist it around. So I'm going to press Command T. The angle. I'll press. Four, five, in fact, 90. There we go. It's just another way of doing it. Hit enter. Click the move tool. There we go. Okay, so uh, yeah, so you get the picture there, and it's not quite right there, is it? Yeah, it's a bit better. Um, and again, I'm just going to go back to this line tool. Uh, I like this weight of 20. Okay, I'm just going to throw it in there, hit enter. I'm going to do another one. And again, I'm just going to line it up. Oh, come on, is it? What's going on? So it's quite tricky uh, if you're not quite used to it. So just click select that shape and that shape. I'm just going to move them up a little bit. Okay, so on uh, my last image, I think I did four or five of these, but to save time, I'll just do one more. I don't think the weight was uh, quite as much either. Hit enter. Go to my move tool. I'm going to hold shift to select that layer again. Move them both in. In fact, what I'll do is I'll just do one small little one. Yeah. And then, yeah. Uh, yeah, so that's, uh, that's not too bad. So, again, take your time with that, okay? Uh, if you've got OCD or something like that, you like it nice and neat, okay? Uh, take your time and evenly space it uh, using your uh, arrow keys on your keyboard. So, anyway, I digress. Anyway, you're going to go click shape nine there. So, I've used nine shapes. I'm going to hold down shift and select shape one. So, I've highlighted them all. And all I'm going to do here is I'm going to merge these shapes. Click merge shapes. So, now they just become one layer. Okay, so make sure you've got this uh, layer selected here and then go to your paths uh, tab. Okay, again, if you can't see that, click on the window. Okay, and you'll see it there, paths. So I'm going to click on my paths. I'm just, oh, obviously, these all, all these paths are selected. I'm just going to click on this gray area, get a gray area here just to deselect them. I'm going to go back to this layer that's still selected. I'm going to hit P for my pen tool. And 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the abstract shaping. So it's not even it's just clipping that layer there. It's not too bad. Okay, and I'm just going to draw around that. So there we go. So we've got path selected here. I'm going to click selection. Now I always get this wrong, even on my last tutorial. See if I got it the right way. Okay, we've made this selection, and then I'm going to hit. Make sure I've got black and white selected uh, on my palette there. I'm going to hit the add layer mask. There we go. It's done it first time. And there we've got our abstract shape. Um, so again, it's entirely up to you uh, how you want to go about the next bit now. So I'm going to make three of these shapes. However, what I would recommend uh, is just doing different shapes, different angles. And we are good to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm make sure I've got the shape selected. I'm going to press Command T, Shift and Alt. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Okay, turn it for whatever angle you like. So just with this one, it's just impeaching on his face a little bit. Yeah, it doesn't matter if it uh, protrudes off the screen. And let's have a look compared to the last one. Yeah, so it's a little bit smaller, that one over there. So it's a different. Uh... Oh, hit the pen tool, that's why. V, press Command T. I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller. There we go. So now I'm going to copy this layer. I'm going to press Command J. Press Command T. Okay, in this layer, I'm just going to bring down here. I'm just going to flip over. So again, different sizes. Hit Enter. Let me just compare it to the last one. Yeah, so we're going to have a lot going on down there. So yeah, so okay. And then this layer, I'm going to press Command J, Command T. So I'm just copying. And again, I'm just going to spin it around. In fact, I've done the wrong what's going there. Get rid of that there. Command T. I'm just going to copy this layer down like that. Command T. There we go. Sometimes when you're uh, when you're working in Photoshop. You do have a lot of dramas and you wonder why <laughs> from my own experience anyway there we go yeah so i'm happy with how it's uh, how it's looking right now obviously it's a little bit different um because i'm just quickly rushing it through the tutorial so i'm not banging on too much uh, but you get the idea of where we're going with it so i'm going to highlight these lower layers again and i'm going to group them i'm going to call them blue shapes Okay, make sure you've got a blue shape selection selected there. We're going to add a layer mask. We're going to hit the brush tool, back to our grungy brush tool. Make sure we've got black selected. And we're just going to paint away. The grunge, there's the blue, so it's not massively contrasting. There we go. So, again, I'm happy with how this is looking. And just two more effects to add in now. So it's going to be uh, going to be similar as to what we did before um, with regards to shapes, but it's going to be these background shapes here. But all we're going to do is we're going to have them underneath. So I'm going to make sure I've got this background layer selected here. Hit a new layer. I'm going to go to my line tool again. And we'll keep the weight at 20, because I thought it was working quite well. And the colour that I require is going to be, is that the colour I had before? What we'll do is, we'll just select the colour. So the colour was uh, Bravo Delta 2222, and it's that nice light red colour. There we go. So you'll see no stroke 
and the weight is 20 again. Again, you see how it contrasts with that red color there. In fact, what I'm gonna do is with the weight, I'm gonna make it 35. I'm just gonna make it a little bit thicker. Because I don't want to do as many. And I'm going to command J with that one, command T. Okay, I'm just going to flip it round. There we go, that worked uh, quite well. Oh. Just undone that. So. Line tool again. Just going to draw another one in. Hit enter and again use your arrow keys. Yeah, happy with that. Line tool again. Okay, it's, uh, you can see it's a little bit off center there, but. Um, I'm not going to lose any sleep over that just for this tutorial. Uh, like I said, um, like I've like I've said before, uh, just take take your time with it. Again, because it's a background layer as well, uh, we don't really need to uh, cut it out as we did. Uh, we can just kind of hide it hide it behind, uh, and I think. What I was doing is I was just drawing in random lines, so it doesn't need to be uh, need to be those triangles. So again, go to the line tool. You just drag and drop, and just throw in some uh, some abstract lines. So I'm going to get rid of, and again, just play around. So I'm liking. Now it's looking, it's saving a lot of time. Yeah. Happy with that. What we can do is just throw some in here. And again, if you need to just line them up, do so. Okay, hit the U button. Uh, for the line tool, for the shortcut. I'm not sure if later versions have changed. The shortcuts, uh, regardless. There we go. Just getting the picture. And press Command Zero. How are we looking? Uh, yeah, we had a few more lines. Um, but we're going to grunge them out anyway, so it's no uh, it's no drama. And I'm kind of happy with how this is turning out. Yeah, so there we go. Uh, you can uh, you can add some more lines in, but uh, you get my picture. So I've done 33 shapes there. Okay, top one selected. I'm going to click that one. I'm going to group them. Command J. Uh, Call these background stripes. Again, layer mask. Hit the B for the brush tool. Okay, I've got my grunge brush selected. Okay, and you can see there we can just paint them on. And if you had added lines and you were uh, wanted to fade them out, you can do. Just so they blend in. But it's just for that, that sort of abstract artwork. Yeah. I'm just clicking around. Again, throw in as many lines as you want. Uh, we're looking quite good. And the last effect we're going to do is the Atletico, the Atletico text. So uh, we're going to throw that in on top. So I'm going to click this blue shapes level here. We're going to hit T for the text. Now. The text I was using is block letter. Again, you can download it from uh, any sort of uh, font website. Uh, it's a free font. 
And the colour I'm going to use for the first part is Echo A Bravo 2 Alpha Echo. It's like this pinky salmon colour because it's going to contrast. 80, 80 L E T I C O. I always spell it wrong. Atletico. And I'm going to spell it again. I'm going to do two spaces. And two spaces. A T E T I C O. Atletico. Okay, if you can see here, we're going to have it coming off the side. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the middle text. I'm going to click on the uh, color palette up here. Okay, and I'm going to go with 7 echo 1112. It's got this dark red. So it's contrasting. So we've got uh, free text. Yeah, I'm going to press Command J. Hit the Move tool. Okay. And I'm just going to move it down. Yep. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to put it behind. So we'll do one more. In fact, Command J, Command T. Yep. And then we'll do another one. Command J. I've lost it. <laughs> there we go, it's one of that ones there. There we go, Command T. So they're just off center of each other. Uh, Command G for the group. Okay, and I'm just gonna move it. Where shall I move it to? Oh, let me close the groups first so it's easier me to see faded head one above the faded head beneath the stars there we go that's a lot better and I'm going to call this group text what we're going to do is as well I'm going to do some text down the bottom so command T so I know which level I'm working with command J command T Okay, I'm just going to put some down here as well. Yeah, Command J, Command T. So again, it's contrasting against a star as well. Come on. Keep clicking the layers, apologies. There we go. And I'm just gonna do it. Just gonna do one more. There we go. So yeah, there we have it. There's um, there's our image, and it's not looking too bad. I think it's yeah, it's looking uh, it's looking very similar. Obviously. Uh, I rushed these uh, these background lines, okay. Um, so I can't emphasise enough about uh, how much you should take your time. But again, make your uh, make your favourite footballer, okay. Obviously, if your team's not in the uh, in the Champions League, uh, then you can uh, make your own. If you look uh, with the Messi one again, all they've done is same uh, sort of image, just. Uh, desaturated it and they've just used different brushes uh, they've used pink stars different colours uh, and just yeah it's, it's the, the fade of the text I didn't do that there but yeah it's looking uh, really uh, really pleased with that outcome and uh, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial uh, so there we go there we're finished uh, if you do did like this tutorial uh, hit the like hit subscribe uh, if you've got any comments, leave them below. Any questions, just uh, fire away. But thank you very much for watching, and hopefully I will see you next time.